Hey guys, what is up? It is Friday, which means it is a weigh-in day. Um, today I'm going to be doing my weigh-in update since May 1st, and I also will be doing a what I eat in a day. All of the pictures that I have are collages from previous days I actually put on my Instagram. All of my social medias are down below, and if you want to follow my health journey on Instagram, it's not so fit girl. I post all of my food that I eat, um, calories that I burn, exercises I do, all of that. I just keep that all in that Instagram. And then I also have my personal down there, Facebook, and all that fun stuff. So go ahead and check those out. And let's go ahead and get in the video with what my weigh-in is this week. All right, so I didn't make any videos last week, and I honestly cannot recall when the last time I made a video about my weight was, but I have been on a weight loss journey since January of this year. I started out at 411.4 pounds, and I will say I did pretty good in January, and then I fell off, picked back up a little bit in February, like towards the end of it, and then I fell off completely. Um, March I retried, it was kind of like back and forth, I ended up gaining up, gaining back my weight that I lost, and then I lost, then I gained a little bit, I gained a little bit back, not the full weight, and then I lost some, and then back and forth, back and forth, so since January, <laughs> That's what my main total weight loss is going to be, is my weight loss from my highest weight, which was on January 1st, 411.4 pounds. So, in May I decided it's time to get serious. We're still in quarantine. Why not get serious? So I'm going to go ahead and give the statistics that I had from May, all of my weeks in May, and I'll put a little picture up so you get a little idea, probably either here, here, or the whole screen, I don't know. So... May 1st, I weighed 393.6 pounds, and then the following week on May 8th, I weighed 391.0 pounds. Last week, I weighed in at 386.0 pounds, and this week, drum roll please, that was a bad drum roll, I weigh 381.2 pounds, which means I've lost 4.8 pounds since last week, which brings the exciting news of losing 30.2 pounds since January 1st. Woo! Um, you guys might not know this about me, but I've done weight loss journeys before. I've done diets before, fads, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. I've done them before. And the most I've ever lost is 30 pounds. So to be at those 30 pounds again is exciting and nerve wracking because I need to break the barrier of 30 and I can't wait for my next goal of 45. I've been getting a lot of comments of people asking if I'm going to treat myself to these like mini goals that I've set up for myself and I am 30 pounds. I don't have really anything planned for that. I just wanted to get there. But my first mini goal is going to be 50 pounds. And once I reach 50 pounds, which I'm hoping by summertime I can get there, um, I am going to go and buy myself a new pair of sneakers. I'm thinking of some new cool Nikes. So that's my plan for 50 pounds. And then I was just talking the other night, I think at 75 pounds, I want to get myself an Apple Watch. I currently have a Fitbit. I don't have any complaints about it, really. I just want an Apple Watch. <laughs> so... Now that I'm done with that portion, let's go ahead and get into what I've been eating throughout May just to get an idea of like where I'm at, my calories and all that. I no longer do macros. I'm just strictly counting calories and I've had no problems with it so far. So let's go. All right. So this first picture here you're seeing is um, uh, my first collage that I did. This was back on May 11th, I believe. Yes. So this is when I started doing collages. You can see my breakfast. Um, I had a brunch, a snack, a dinner, and dessert. So I usually my go-to breakfast, I do three eggs, three turkey sausages, <clears throat> and some ketchup. In this picture, I ended up putting some diced potatoes in there. I made like a scramble. And then that was a pretty heavy breakfast. So then that day for lunch, I just did a snack plate. There's some hard salami, fruits. Um, I did kiwi, some pickles. I love this pepper jack cheese um, laughing cow spread. That's delicious. And some crackers. Dinner is, this is like my favorite dinner of all times. It's my splurge dinner, but it's still healthy and better than regular. But it is my two ingredient dough pizza. And that is delicious. And it, oh my gosh, I went a little crazy though, because I put a lot of cheese on there. So it really wasn't that good. 
And then the other night we went to Sonic and we got different ice creams and I got a Sonic cookie dough blast. I ate a third of it the day we got it and then I just continued to eat a third of it until it was gone because a third of a small was only 280 calories. So that is that day. And let's see. Let's move on to the next day, I believe. Yep, May 12th. So this picture, you can see pizza again. I have a pizza addiction, but I'm not really... Eh, it is what it is. So um, I woke up late. So for breakfast, I just had a quick protein bar before I went and did a hike. Um, my lunch is a chicken melt so I've got deli chicken like two slices of cheese I put buffalo sauce and then I dipped it in light ranch and I had grapes and Lay's poppables which is delicious um snack I had apples and cucumbers but I did not get a picture of that dinner I ended up splurging and we ate little caesars and I had uh four pieces of pizza and two breadsticks but it was delicious and then for dessert I had s'mores and I was over my caloric goal, um, my calorie goal is 2,200 calories. This was 2,436 calories, but I burned 1,202 calories when I went for my hike. So I wasn't too upset by it. Um, and then let's move a little faster here. So a couple days later, here's another idea of things I do. Here's my, this is my staple breakfast right here. The three eggs, the three sausages and ketchup. And then for lunch, I just made myself a bowl of regular popcorn. I even put some butter in it because I didn't care. I was splurging, but you know, I wasn't eating lunch. So that was pretty much the same calories I would eat for lunch. It's like 425 calories. So that was a Diet Coke. It was a movie day. I ended up eating some chocolate chip cookies that my mom made, but I still tracked it. And then dinner was delicious. It was Tyson blackened chicken strips with taco ranch and green giant broccoli cheese tots which are so good and my mom had homemade cornbread so I ended up having enough calories for a slice of that. That day I only ate 1600 calories and I still burned like over 300 calories. Um, let's do one more picture of something that I eat. Let's see. Everything's so, I don't know, it's always so random. Um, most days I don't eat four meals if I'm being completely honest. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this picture. So this one was just two days ago. Once again, it's my three eggs, my three sausages, and my ketchup. And then the day before this, we had Jimmy John's. So if you see in the bottom left-hand corner, I have a Slim Number no. 5, which is the Italian that has like the salami and all of that. I ended up eating three-fourths of it the day before, and then this day I ate a fourth of it with some pretzels because I wasn't super hungry because I had a late breakfast. And then for dinner, I ended up making turkey tacos with low-carb tortillas and fat-free refried beans. That day, I ended up only eating 1,100 calories, and that was, like, super low-cal for me, and I'm not usually like that, but I was, like, not hungry that day. So then now we're done with that. I want to go ahead and show... Um, I'm just going to show one of these because they're all basically the same. But every day I've been going on a walk and I go to a forest preserve. I go to bike paths. I go around the house or around the home like neighborhood. And I try to do a mile a day. I have been doing a mile every single day since May 11th. I'm really excited about that. And I try to burn every day between 300 to 400 calories. So that's a little bit about that. All right, so I know that was a little bit different, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what I've been eating and the calories that I consume. So I do try to aim for that 2,200 calories every day. However, I'm usually pretty much underneath it, but as long as I'm not hungry and I'm not starving myself, I don't fret about it. And I do drink, I have my water bottle here. This is 22 ounces. I usually drink four to five of these a day. I try to drink four to five a day just to get my water in. And like I said before, I do try to burn between 300 to 400 calories every day doing some kind of exercise. Usually it's going for a walk because I can usually get like 300 to 400 burned from that. Other days I go for a walk and then I've been doing yard work and helping out around the house and just whatever I can do to get my heart pumping. I've been doing Chloe Ting workouts. I've done some arm exercises lately, which are no joke at all. But I'm really just trying to stay active and yeah, that's what this video was just to give an update. 
of where I've been, how I've been doing, and how excited I am to lose the 30 pounds. If you want to see more pictures of what I eat and how I exercise and all that stuff, all those pictures were taken from my Instagram. That's down below, not so fit girl. So you can go ahead and check that out. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be at, back on Monday with a new video and have a great weekend. Oh, and yes, Memorial Day is Monday, but I'm still posting. I'm still posting because I'm going to film it later on so then I can post it later. <laughs> so have a great day and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.